Hi, hello, this is um, Eric Quinn. So what I'm going to try to do here is just, um, uh, I saw Fetchulo's video, so I'm just going to make a new one to show what um, the slightly different intended workflow would be once this is merged. So I kind of have his up playing next to me, so I can, um, okay, so it looks like you just cleared him to five. And I can't tell. Does he have the SID? Oh yeah, yeah, he does. Okay, okay. So then I'll just give him SID. Give him to Alpha <coughs> and clear him, and then he should loop around that same way that I just gave you five thousand. Maybe that's another bug. <coughs> Yeah, okay, so that looks like yours, and then, uh, so what, what happened here? Okay. I'll just turn this on always so we can see what's going on. Okay, and then you gave him direct that, which will turn him northwest bound. <clears throat> um, and then I'll just pause both of these, and this would be like a good um, point to kind of explain what's going on, is if I use this SR for say root function, it'll read out his root. So his root is SAZ bivm2 alpha to bivm. And then uh, the next thing you did was gave him a vector of 330, so I can be flighting 330. So now he's assigned the 330 bivm 2 alpha is no longer uh, blue. Like I'll give it to this guy so you can see blue indicates that he's actually um, actively going to be following it, which is actually a tag within the FMS, and now he is not following the bivm 2 alpha. Um, that's why I just on that, that heading of 330. But if I ask him to say his root again, it actually still has that thing in there. Um, so... Well, let's see, I'm not exactly familiar with what the fixes are that are in this. What is it? S-A-E-Z. Bivum. No. There we go. <coughs> okay, so the first one... Where did he take off? He took off 1-1? One, one. Yes, the first one would be easy E12. I can actually tell him at this point to proceed direct easy E12, and he'll kind of just go backwards and rejoin the departure, and then I can issue him like another... Whoa, not like that flighting zero, 010, zero, turn him like up that way, and then the idea would be to tell him to proceed direct um, this nonsensical fix. I don't even know how you would say that. It's like, I don't know, whatever. So proceed direct, whatever the heck that is, because it doesn't sound like a human word, and then he'll kind of just rejoin the departure that he already filed for um, that was in his route. Um, and instead, what uh, what you had done was given him that vector, and then used the old fix command. And then, you know, while his root was already SID out to here, um, you told him fix easy e20 bivum, which would, I believe, offhand, I'm not entirely sure. Um, who is he? 723. Get my call sign. 723 FMS legs. So if we look at his legs, he's got one leg in there, and uh, it contains a wow, a whole crap ton of waypoints. Yeah, and I can also just run uh, this waypoints function, and that'll list them all out for me, so we can see what the hell's going on. So easy 12, let's see, maybe I can put these up side by side, that would probably help. Wow, that's a lot. Yeah, something's not right, it, it seems to be inserting too many things. So easy 12, uh, the 10 DME 43, what is that, is that a heading? 10 DME 43? Oh, maybe it's just the f point forty-three around the 10 DME arc. <coughs> Okay, so 10 DME 43, 10 DME 48, 10 DME 53, 58, 63, 68, 
63, 60. So that's the end of the runway chain. Then we go into the body of 71. Izzy uh, 10, 19, 20, 26. Atovo. 10, sorry, wait, 10, 19, <coughs> 20, 26? Is that not in there? 19. Hmm. Yeah, so this one's missing for some reason. Yeah, something's not quite right. But what what you can see, um, here, why don't I, why don't I just grab a new one? Well, at least vaguely, what you can see here is that it's like it leaves all this old stuff in there, and whenever a vector is issued, like in in this first case, he was going direct to this first fix, and then he was going um, to turn inbound to the arc, and at that point I gave him a heading, and it kind of just inserted that as a new leg, where he had this, um, you know, nav mode heading, and then an actual heading assigned, and then I told him to proceed direct something else, and actually I told him direct easy E20, um, so then he would just kind of go directly from this one, skip through all this crap, and head out to here and that left everything else still present, and then we issued a few more headings and it kind of ended up inserting some more stuff. <coughs> so that's the idea. Um, and then to replicate what you did here, you told him fix... right, the, the, these two fixes up here would be easy, 20 and bivum. Um, let's do this as well. So, God, this is so cluttered. Okay, and for some reason, yeah, so there goes the error. For some reason, it doesn't like that. <coughs> Current altitude. So it saved the waypoint it was at. And it didn't have an altitude. That's interesting, because it should have, because he was on that heading. That's the one that was current. Um, I don't know. That's interesting. Anyway, I'll I'll look at that, but... Um, whoa. Trippy. Did I... Oh, that's right, it's dead. Um, anyway, so that was, that was the point, was to show um, just the slightly different workflow, which actually end up uh, being a little more realistic, because... The way it really works is that they'll obviously file for their whole flight plan and they have a clearance from the beginning to the end of the route and then get out of here. <clears throat> and then um, you know whenever some sort of heading is given like maybe to avoid some traffic he'd be given um, you know flighting 090 or 111 clear for takeoff and then do that to kind of give him degrees divergence from another departure um, and then we know that this goes somewhere. T-dar? Where the hell is T? Here's T-dar. So then, you know, once that traffic was clear, if I skip ahead a bit, you know, at this point I could just tell him proceed direct T-dar. And then he would naturally join the departure. So the, the real control instruction would be, you know, 478 proceed direct T-dar. And that's that's it. And he would just kind of join it. He would see, you know, his FMS would still contain all the old waypoints. Um, and depending on how it's set up, there's either a, a direct button or uh, in the legs submenu of the FMS, you kind of just um, click on the location where TDAR is and then you click on like the top current waypoint and it'll kind of um, connect you to there. And at that point, I, it actually does remove the waypoints, but um, I just left them in there because... I figure there's no real reason to be deleting it if we don't have to. It kind of just moves the uh, currently selected waypoint to the one that we told him to go to. So like I said before, I could send him to something that is um, previous to this. Like I think maybe 12 was in his route. Yeah, so I could have him turn toward 12 and then obviously he doesn't um, actually make it all the way there because of the, the turn logic. If we made it like a flyover fix then he would, but uh, regardless. Um, I can skip him ahead. Does that not be IPTA? 
So I can send him to essentially any point that's um, along his fix, and then I can um, change that at any time. So that's the idea. I think that's pretty much all. Yeah, I'll look I'll look into that thing where it crashes because it definitely shouldn't be crashing, and that's the kind of thing I was talking about where I'm not exactly sure um, about little things like that that could be left behind. Some strange uh, use case where you could actually crash the game because uh, there were some pretty significant changes in this. So, anyway, that's it. I'll have a look, and thank you.